kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video tutorial on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I will be creating a game which is the picture matching game using uh, grid view and adapters. So, let me first of all give you a demo of what our game will look like. So, as I already have created and connected my phone with the laptop, so here we go. Okay, so now when we open the app, so here you can see there are 16 boxes here. Okay, and if you click on any of the box, so here you can see that it is a dog picture, and uh, now I want to match it with some other uh, box. So, if I click here, so here you can see okay, not match, and if I click here, let's see yes here you can see that here we have a match and now they will be visible now i click here then let's see yes here you can see we have this all right and then we let me check that okay so here you can see so this will be the game which we I will be developing so let's get started all right guys so first of all here uh, I already have created the project in Android studio and first of all we need to go to our activity main dot XML and here we will have the grid view so for that we can have the grid view and it will be the width will be match parent and height will also be match parent then we set the id to grid view and th then i set the number columns to four and i write stretch mode to column width okay so that is uh, we will be using the grid view with four columns here and if I change it to two so here you can see we will be having the two columns okay so after that we just need to go to our main activity and here first of all okay so so basically first of all we need to import the images so here I have got all the uh, images here so I will just copy that and I will paste that here in case you need the images so I will upload this code to the github so you can easily download from there let me know in the video section uh, in the comment section if you need the code okay so after we have got the images and imported the images so first of all we need to initialize our image view and here we can say current view equal to null then we need an integer array so for that we can have okay so first of all we can say private int count pair equal to zero we will be requiring this variable then we can say final integer array and it, the name will be drawable equal to new integer and here we can say r dot drawable dot sample zero then we will have Drawable dot sample one and similarly we can just copy that okay so here zero one then we have two three four five Similarly, seven, okay, so we have got the integer array and then we need an integer array for the position. So we can say integer position equal to three, four, five, six, seven then we again need 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay then here we can set the current position and it will be minus 1 
all right now first of all we need to initialize or bind the grid view so here we can say grid view equal to grid view find view by id r dot id dot grid view okay so now we need an adapter so let's go here and here create a new java class and let's name the java class as image adapter and we will extend it with base adapter then here we can implement all the methods then here we first of all need the context so we can say private context then we can create the constructor so here we can say context this dot context equal to context and then inside our get count method here we can return 16 because we have 16 boxes in the grid view or okay so after that inside our get item method we can just return null and then inside get item id we just return zero as it is then inside our grid view sorry get view uh, method we first of all okay so here we can initialize the image view then we can check if convert view is null then we can create our the image view so we can say image view equal to new image view and here we can pass this dot context and then we can set image view dot set layout params and here we can have new grid view sorry grid view dot layout params and here we can pass 350 into 350 okay that will be width and height and then we set image view dot set scale type we need to set the scale type and it will be image view dot scale type and it will be fit x y all right then in if the convert view is not equal to null then here we can say that image view equal to image view convert view then here we can set image view dot set image resource and we can say r dot drivable dot hidden and finally instead of uh, returning null we can just return the image view here okay so now our adapter is complete so now we need to set the adapter to our grid view so here we can um, yes so here we can just say image adapter equal to new image adapter and we pass this then we can say grid sorry grid view dot set adapter and here we can pass the image adapter here and then we can uh, use the set on item click listener for the grid view so we can say dot set on item click listener new on item click listener and inside that we here we can first of all need to check if the current position is greater than less than zero sorry so if it, it is the less than zero we need to set the current position to position of the index which we have clicked then here we can say cut image view and it will be equal to image view view and then after that we can say image view view dot set image resource and here we can say drivable sorry drivable and here we can pass position pause and 
and here we can pass the position all right but instead of else if the current position is greater than zero then we, here we can check if current position equal to position if it is equal to the same position then we can simply say image view view dot set image resource or dot driver dot hidden then here we can uh, check else if position of current position is not equal to position of position then here we can say cur sorry current view dot set image resource and it will be equal to our draw driver to hidden and then we can print a toast message that there is uh, no match so here we can say get application not match all, all right then instead of then else inside that part for so we can say again image view view dot set image resource and here we can pass tribal position alright and here we now can uh, we can in increment the count pair and here we can now check if count pair equal to 0 then here we can print a message you win and here we can set the current position to minus one all right guys that was it so let's now try to run the code and let's see if it works or not so let me connect my side sync okay so now let's run the app and let's see if it works or not okay so here you can see only one image let me see where I have done the mistake okay so here I had a problem I removed the braces here then here you can see now the the app works fine so let me show you again so here we have this pick matching app and now you can see that all right guys so i hope you have understood the concepts behind this like how we can use the grid view and then we how can we use the adapter to display all the images here on upon the click of the button so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye